previously on Soul Food. 315, magic time. School's out for another day. Until this very moment, Dad's new truck was so cool, unless I could prove Mercedes or Lexus made a tow truck, I was gonna get clown, dog, and disc. We've been going to galleries and museums, you know, going doing stuff I'd never do, kind of stuff Terry does. Oh, so you want to be like Terry? No, Kenny, I want to be like me. You're acting like a 12-year-old. Get a life. If I could find one without you in it. I can't come hold your hand every time you get scared. So the next time you call me over here, it better be for a good goddamn reason. I'm not getting caught up in no cop beef, Jack. You're already in it, Lem. Now, see? That's all you had to do was help me clean up this place. Man, I wasn't about to let them fools just take advantage of you. I can take care of my own business, Lem. Chadway, man, Lim sent me. Where's the gang? Here it is. All right. $75. Man, it's $24.95 in the mall. Does this look like the mall to you? If you don't want it, stack. But if I wasn't cool with Lem, it'd be too hot. Don't be acting like you're giving me a deal. Shit. May as well be wearing a gun and a mask. It's my son's birthday, and this is the only thing he cares about. Hey, hey, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait,
whole point of having a meeting at your house was so you wouldn't be late. Okay, well, next time, while I put out a memo telling all the cars not to break down while Terry's waiting, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and why we need to have a family meeting to plan a kid's birthday party is beyond me. Kenny, your son is turning 12. I think you want to celebrate that. Well, I do. Sure, we'll just put the word out to all the kids. You know, we'll play some music, you know, barbecue some hot dogs. No, I don't think so. Ahmad's got new friends now. And they grew up on play dates and formal parties. Wow. So Ahmad is supposed to front for these lakeside prep kids because they rich? It's no. not about fronting. It's about what's best for Ahmad. Well, I'm doing what's best for Ahmad, Terry. Why do you think he's going to the school anyway? Well, it's not enough to go to school with the privilege. You need to know how to socialize with them. That's bullshit. <laughs> and you know this how. Okay, deals are not made between 9 and 5. They are made at fundraisers, at cocktail parties, on the golf course. And what better time for a mod to learn these skills than now? Okay, enough with Terry's tips for the bougie. Uh, Ahmad's new friends need invitations in advance. We'll do invitations in advance. Great. I'll handle the entertainment. I'll obviously cook. I'll bring the drinks. <gasps> I'll bake a cake. Ooh. Um. You know what? I should bake the cake. Yeah. I mean, I'm his mother, and what kind of mother would I be if I didn't bake my only son's cake for his only 12th birthday? I know, yeah. but this is what I want to do for Ahmad. Hey, why don't you let them just kind of hang Put him in the way. <sighs> now, now, Max says she's going to cook. Terry's handling entertainment. So the cake that I bake is going to be my contribution. And with that announcement, it became okay, official. Uh, Any party that started with Bird baking anything had to end in disaster. Okay, well, I guess that's so. Yes, it is. Kenny, did you get the gift for Ahmad's birthday? Oh, baby, you know what? That, that um, Supreme Wills is sold out. Kenny, that's the only thing he asked for. Baby, but look, if it's not there, it's not there. Can you help Yo, me? I might be able to help you out, man. I got this hookup at a warehouse. Great. All right, then. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Lynn. Well, I gotta go. I got a recipe to dig out. I'm gonna bake a cake. Come on, baby. Okay, let me have got to do something. Yes, you are. We are gonna give you the biggest, dopest birthday party ever. Mm -hmm. Dopest? Mm -hmm. Man, that is so plain. Yeah, baby, that is so plain. Go get your invite list together. All right. Well, I'm gonna go next door and get the girls. Mm. Hello? Hey. Hey. So you got everything you need for the party? Yep, just got back from the grocery store. Well, uh, uh, listen. I was wondering, how would you feel about Ahmad having the party here? I don't know why. Well, he asked me, and I, I said I'd ask you. I didn't think you'd be crazy about having 20 kids run through House Beautiful. I'm not. But he gave me please auntie eyes, so what could I say? Got my list. Yeah. What could you say? Okay. Sure. Great. I'll call the party supply store, see if I can rent some chairs. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Did you ask your Aunt Terry if you could have the party at her house? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's closer to my school. Well, what about your friends from this neighborhood? I mean, it's farther for them. Casey and Reggie aren't coming. Why? Because. Because why, Ahmad? Because Reggie acts too stupid and Casey laughs at every stupid thing he says. Well, okay. It's your party. You should invite whomever you want to invite. Okay. There's the list. Terry? Yes. Booby is here to see you. Oh. We'll send him in. Um, have a seat. I didn't realize you'd come in the clown clothes uh, outfit. Well, how else would you know that I'm a clown? Yes, right. Um, I do have a few requirements. Are you bonded? 
Do you sing? No. Do you do magic? Not really. Special skill or talent? Oh, yeah. That's a little too special. Thank you. So Terry had the entertainment covered. Bird promised she would bake the cake. Max was going to cook, and all I had to do was get Ahmad's gift. Supreme Wheels. Oh, and prevent the start of World War III. Ahmad's party's going to be at Terry's. OK. OK. All right, look, you know what, Max? I'm in the dark here. Now, if there's something I'm supposed to react to, tell me what it is so I can respond. I don't want you to respond. I want you to understand why I'm upset. OK, well, baby, why are you upset? Terry called to ask if we could have the party at her house. Said Ahmad asked her. He's embarrassed about where he lives, Kenny. And instead of telling him that was wrong, Terry said he could have the party there. Okay, well, I will talk to Ahmad, all right? See what's up. Hello? Hey, baby sis. How's everything going? You checking up on me? No. I'm just interested in checking up on me. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind. Because the cake from the recipe that Grandmama passed down to Mama is baking in the oven that Mama used to bake it in. Therefore, I know my cake will be the bomb. Well, excuse me. Well, I was just wondering if you could come over early and help set up. Bert. Bert, are you there? Terry, I got to go. Um. Your baby's crying. Mm. Shit. What'd I do? Now, what makes you think you've done anything wrong? Because it seems like you knock like that every time Mom sicks you on me. I was sure Max was overreacting, and I knew if I pushed my cool dad button and Ahmad pushed his cool kid button, everything would work out fine. Well, you didn't do anything wrong. I just want to ask you a question. Okay. Why did you ask your Aunt Terry to have your party at her house? Just did. Hmm. Well, you know, your mother's pretty upset. She thinks that you're embarrassed about her house. I'm not. Aunt Terry lives closer to my school, and all my friends live out there. Your new friends. Well, what about Casey and Reggie? Casey and Reggie think that anybody who goes to Lakeside Prep are busters. They wouldn't even want to come. OK. OK. Well, just in case you're on the fence about your Lakeside friends visiting our home, I have worked very hard to buy this house, and your mama works very hard to keep it decent. Now, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting nice things, am I? But there's something really wrong with not being proud of what you have. I have to go to the bathroom. Go? Huh. Now, that always worked before. Either my game ain't as tight as it used to be, or my son is getting smarter than me. I gotta get my hands on that Supreme Wheels video game. Prove I'm still the man. $75. I've gone from cool dad to doofus dad to jailbird. And for some reason, from the moment my head hit the pavement, I couldn't shake this song that Max wrote and sang to me on our first anniversary. Good afternoon, Mr. Chadwick. Hi. You asked to speak to Detective Jack Van Epps. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's sort of my, my cousin by marriage, man. He's unavailable, but I'll be happy to help you if I can, if you just tell me what happened. But I'm Detective Conrad. Oh, all right, brother. All right, well, look, uh, I bought a video game for my son, and I got arrested. We ought to be able to clear this up pretty quickly. Who would you buy the game from? Uh, somebody named Freddy. What's his last name? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, how did you know where to find him? Well, I heard about him on the street, and I heard that he sold video games. Who'd you hear about him from? Uh, I got this hookup at a warehouse. Should I have my lawyer? 
Not if you didn't do anything wrong. Oh. Did you do something wrong, <laughs> Mr. Chairman? <laughs> nah, not a thing. <laughs> okay. So who told you about Freddy? Um, you know, I, I don't remember. Supreme Wheels, the game, right? Yeah. I have two boys. Every once in a while, I challenge them. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, man. I can't hang with my son either. So, you bought this game from Freddy, who you heard about on the street, from somebody that you can't remember. Come on. You knew there was a good chance that this game was hot, didn't you? No, I really didn't. Okay, all right. But you helped me get who sent you to Freddy, because that person must have known, right? I don't know. And I know you remember, Mr. Chadway. Could I make my call, please? Never been arrested. No. Credit history spotless. According to your social security records, you've been working since you were 16. Yeah, uh, well. So why would an honest, hard-working black man like yourself turn around and act like a nigga? See, you just became part of the problem. That video game you bought has a tracking number matching it to a burglar on the north side. Man, well, look, when, when you break it down like that, you know, I am sorry. No, you're not, but you're gonna be. I'm gonna lose your paperwork. Give you a chance to spend some quality time with the antisocial element you've seen fit to enable. Then you'll be sorry. Uh, oh, those are cute. Terry, boys don't want to be cute. They want to be cool. They're great. Well, just start hanging them up over there. Yes, sir. What's up, smart boy? What? Uh, this way. Move it. Back it up. Relax your grip. There you go. Oh, hey. Hey. Had a great idea. I rented a karaoke system. Oh, so did I. <laughs> Guess I should have checked with you to see what you had planned for Maude's party. Oh, so we have two machines. It's no big deal. Where's Kenny? It is a big deal, Terry. Kenny went to check on Maude's video game, but he should have been back by now. I left something at the house. I'll be right back. No matter how bad the low points in my life, I've never been the one to say things couldn't be worse. Right. Moments like this is Get why. I wonder if this guy's the first installment in Conrad's You're Gonna Be Sorry play. Turn around. He is. He said he was gonna lose my paperwork. He obviously wants me to lose my mind, too. Hey, see, homie, where you from? Hey, look, man, I'm not into any gangster shit, all right? And, uh... I'm definitely nobody's punk. Man, don't nobody want you, fool. I ain't trying to catch AIDS. Participate in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the plot to, to kill black folks, homie. Did you know that over half the population of Africa is infected with HIV? Oh, that shit happened by accident? I don't know. Well, I do know, homie. I mean, if you just shut the fuck up and listen, I can school you. That's all right, man. You know, I'm, I'm just... Where's AIDS growing fastest in this country? Black women under 21. Yeah. You know, they're killing black mothers before they even become black mothers. Oh, and Magic Johnson? Yeah, he's a traitor. Because he has HIV? Magic ain't got no AIDS, man. How the, how the fuck you gonna have AIDS, homie, for 20 years and not get sick? Huh? 
He's a pawn so that every day some fool looks at magic and says, well, he's got it and he's fine, so, so why should I have to put a, a hat on my Jimmy? This cat's crazy. Is you following me, dog? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm following you. You want to talk about why you bit my head up? Figure it out, Terry. No, Max. I'm not Kinney. I don't feel like playing. What's wrong with Max this time? If something's on your mind, you need to say what that is. Okay. I don't appreciate you encouraging Ahmad to have his birthday party at your nice home. I did not encourage anything. Ahmad asked me if he could have it here, and I said yes. Did you ask him why he wanted to do that? Because it's closer to his new school. Damn it, Terry. You didn't realize that he was asking because he's not proud of his own neighborhood, his own house. Hell, he didn't even invite his own friends. Oh, so none of his new friends could possibly be his real friends because they're well off? You're overreacting, Max. If Ahmad asks me to have a party here, he's going to have a party here. He is my son, Derry. You remember that the next time he asks you for anything. Fine. Good. <laughs> Jack Van Adams, leave a message. Jack is Slim, hit me on the cell fast. in front of your precinct. I think Kenny got busted. I called, but they didn't have a record of Kenny Chadway being arrested. Man, I might be fucked. I need you to call me back on the cell, man. Call me back. Hey, Jack. I was around the corner. Come on in. <laughs> you got a good haircut. Yes, I did. I like that. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh. Lim should be back soon. You Maxine? Oh, hi, Jack. Thank I you. got a present for your son for his birthday. Oh, thank you. That's well, so sweet. start over. Oh, oh, wait, just you know you do not look like you got a 12-year-old. Look at you. Flirting with an old married woman. <laughs> no, no. Flirting would be disrespectful. I'm just dropping the truth. Oh, shoot. Look, why don't we just try... Disconnecting all these wires. No, I don't want to start all over again, Terry. Well, it's either we start over or we just. Hey, let me take a look. Please, by all means. Let me look at it. No, I... let me. These things can be so temperamental. You can't even think about letting the ground wire touch anything. It's a nightmare. All right. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, try that. Okay. My darling, I wonder if you When I asked Max how she wrote such a beautiful song, she said her soul wrote it to help her express how much she loved me. I need to get home. I have to get home. Hold up, hold up, hold up, man. you doing? Um... Man, you just don't know nothing, do you? Man, give me this shit, man. Man, you never take a drink first. Man, haven't you heard of Jonestown, boy? Man, people drop dead up in here all the time, man. See, first... We sort everything real 
real heavy. You know what I mean? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 man, yeah. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Real heavy. All right? Then you eat from each portion. Then you drink. Because that's the antidote. Oh, OK. All right. Yeah. See, they'll never know when they got to eat with us. Eat, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Put me to work. <laughs> Still frosty in here, I see. Oh, yeah. Max, I think it's about done. Oh, great. Oh, Jack, this is wonderful. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Mm. Now, that is a bike. No, Ma doesn't even know he's getting it. Oh, trust me, he'll love it. You think? Oh, yeah. It makes me remember my first bike. It was hot pink with a white banana seat. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Mine was purple. A purple three-speed husky. <laughs> I thought I was it. Fuck you, shit Fuck you, stupid motherfuckers. Hey, what you do to get up in here anyway? Nothing. I, it's, uh, it's a mistake, man. What did they pop you for? Uh, buying a video game for my son's birthday. See? See, 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 see. see. That's the fact that's holding us back. See, the white man mm. got a plan. The detective in charge is black. Mm. On the outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, let me show you something. See, they done killed Malcolm. Mm. They killed Mark. Okay, kill him, yeah. Man, they beat Rodney King. His ass. They framed Geronimo Pratt. Yeah. Marion Barry. Mm. OJ. Man, man, this shit don't stop, homie. Yeah. Hey, man, just look at me. Man, they've been on my ass since I was 13 years old. I did four years in reform school, eight years in the pen, and I ain't even do shit. <sighs> that's, that's messed man, up. You goddamn right, that's fucked up. I mean, why you think Colin Powell didn't run for president? Uh, huh? Man, they told his wife, he said, if he runs, we gonna get his ass. Can you run? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> uh, you know, man, let me ask, ask you a question. Who are they? Man, shut the fuck up, homie. Is you fucking stupid or something? They are always listening. All the time. You trying to get me killed? No, man. Look, look. I, I'm gonna oh, fuck you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look. Brother, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right? You want stupid motherfucker, you know that? So is this all we need from the store? I can't think of anything else, Max. Nothing that you haven't already thought of. After all, you're the one. Okay, so we need napkins and candles. Is there anything else? Um, ice, ice cream. cream. I'll be back. <laughs> so what do we do now? Walk 20 paces, turn and fire? <laughs> Whoever told you that you were funny lied. Mom! Yes? Reggie, Mom just called for directions. You invited Reggie and Casey anyway. No, they invited themselves. You let them? Yes, Ahmad, I did. Now, if you don't want them here, you should call them back and tell them why. I can't do that. Then I guess they're coming. Mom. Ahmad. All right, here we go. Hey, 
Say, man, where I know you from, man? Man, you don't know me. Man, man, man. I see, I'll never forget a face. Well, maybe you saw me on the streets or something. I don't know. You know, it's a big city, man. You motherfucker. They put you in here, didn't they? Hey, ain't nobody put me anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to try to get next to me so you can lie on me in court. Look, man, it's not me. You lying motherfucker. Look, look, I don't want any mess. I just want to go home. Oh, you want to go home. OK, where well, you going home? This time? You going home for good. Hey, guard! Guard! Hey, you know the second favorite thing for me in the world? Hmm? It's that look on a man's face when he knows he's about to die. Only thing better than that is the expression change when a motherfucker dies. Oh, God, I can't die on my son's birthday. Have him carry that around his whole life when I left this world because I tried to buy him a hot video game. Which one of you is Kenneth Chadwick? Later. Kenneth Chadwick? Hey, 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 watch out for Janet Reno. Sometimes I see you teaching Ahmad to play chess, talking to him about being a lawyer, riding him in your Mercedes. You buy him clothes, give him books to read, and all the while you're saying, be like me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Maxine, the only thing I've tried to teach Ahmad is to be the best that he can be, because that's something that I've tried to do. Well, you must be trying to teach him to be embarrassed about where he comes from, too, because that's what you've done. You're the one that acts like my life is so much better and that yours isn't good enough. You chose to raise a family. I chose a career. We're different people. We have different paths. One no better than the other. Well, Ahmad seems to be choosing to follow your path. And as much as I hate to admit it, it hurts. Must be confusing, too, huh? I mean, you want the best for him, too, or you wouldn't have sent him to that school. He's still my baby, Terry. My 12-year-old baby. And it's hard to let him go. Come here. Man, don't you think this is a bit out of the box of buying a video I didn't even know was stolen? You know it's about more than that. You know, you got me good this morning with this mind fuck you opened up. But I'm not feeling it now. Accusing me of empowering thieves because I bought a video game? Please. That's like me accusing you of murder because you can't find this asshole who's been stabbing these hookers over on the south side. Textbook. First denial. Then fear, followed by rationalization. You know what? I want my lawyer, all right? Followed by anger. Look, Mr. Chatway, I work for Internal Affairs. We police the police. And I believe, no, I am convinced that Detective Jack Van Adams is as dirty as they come. Money laundering, bribery, burglary, credit card fraud. You know what? I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, because I'm going to tie you to all of it. That's right. At the very least, it'll cost you a fortune to defend yourself. You'll undoubtedly go bankrupt. At the minimum, you'll go down for receiving stolen goods. That's a year in county jail. And if you think our lockup is bad, whoo! You know what? This is not my shit, all right? And I do not deserve to be treated like this. Look. The bottom line is that you're working for me now. You will wear a wire. You will work your way into Jack Van Adams' confidence. You will report only to me. 
Are we clear? No. What? I said no. You think I'm bluffing you? Is that what you think? You know what I think? I think I'm gonna sue you and this entire department for every fucking penny you've got. If I sign these papers, you go into the system. You get fingerprinted, booked, and sent off to county. Or you can do the right thing and leave out of here without a mark on your record. It's your last chance. You know, I don't think you know what the right thing is. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. How are you gonna look your family in the face knowing that you just cost them a chance at a decent future? How would I look them in the face knowing I sold my soul? I hope they'd understand that one day. I hope God understands that and takes care of my family. You all right? Yeah. You all set. I took care of you. Death Sergeant's got your stuff. Why don't you get it and I'll meet you there. Next time you got a problem with me, you bring it to me. You know, one of these days, you're gonna run out of favors. Let me tell you something. Being a cop ain't getting promotions off exams or lifting a couple of weights. It's the streets where your punk ass would definitely get hurt. I'm not afraid of you, Jack. Don't be afraid of me. Just be expecting me. My birthday party has turned into my worst nightmare. My lakeside prep friends are on one side of the room and my old friends are on the other. And loud mouth trash talking Reggie is on his way. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Reggie? Casey. Yeah, why are you going try to have a party on the DL, huh? Because he bought a Keisha, throw on the shelf by herself. Keisha, Keisha. Reggie in the house. So, yo, what's up with your new set? I mean, it's totally different. Yeah. These are the whitest white kids I've ever seen. Look at that kid's head. Looks like his head's off. Hi, hi. <laughs> Can I get a round of applause for Snoop Clowny Clown? A clown? Oh, man, this is whack. I'm the kitty kitty clown who would cheer you up. Don't try to be cool. Push your hands up. Say yo, 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 yo. Uh. This clown is whack, but I'm never going to admit it to Reggie, who already thinks I'm a buster for going to Lakeside Prep. So I'm going to pretend he's cool. I'll give you a ride home. But what you can do is tell me what the hell you got me into. It get you into anything. I got you out of it. Kenny, it's my fault, man. It's my bad. And I'm so, so sorry, man. You know what? Sorry did not get a cop's gun put to my head, Lim. Or get me hemmed up with some crazy fool barking like a dog who tried to stab my ass. Kenny, calm down, man. Take some responsibility. When Lim hooked you up with that loot you got from the back of a truck, ain't no way he didn't know it was hot. So fuck the dumb and kill that innocent attitude. You're not a 100% victim here. All right. You know, you know what? You're right, Jack. You're right. But I am 100% stupid for dealing with y'all crooked shit. So why don't you tell me what you got me mixed up in? You're not mixed into anything. I worked it out. You're not even in the system. This never happened. Are you sure? Conrad's full of bullshit. Not that it's any of your business, but I fucked his wife. That's why he's fucking with me. I'm supposed to believe that I just had the worst day of my entire life because you fucked your co-worker's wife? Come on. Some men lose their mind over pussy. Get the fuck out of my Can't face. I don't know what else to say except I should have never sent you to Freddy. I thought it was safe. As much as Jack is coming off like an asshole, he's being real. This is personal. Between Jack and Conrad, it ain't got nothing to do with you or me. I've been straight. I'm trying to be nine to five. Jack tried to help me. That's the whole story.
good. Yeah. Good game for your kid. They owe you this. I don't want it. Let's go. Are you all ready for some magic? Yeah! Um, what are we gonna do? Let's check the books here. We got some, uh... Uh-huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, I admit it, the clowns were a good idea. No, 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 but notice how she hired one white clown and one black clown <clears throat> to do that whole racial harmony thing. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, Bert. <laughs> oh, finally, baby. Where you been? Been looking for that damn video. You know, Limp Sucker was a bus, baby, so sorry about that. Hmm. Hey, well, I better put that bike together. Oh, no, 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 relax, baby. Jack came by here earlier with his sweet self, and he put it together in no time. Hey. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I love you, baby. I love you too, honey. You want to see what shish kaboo looks like? Okay. Whoa! What is that? You're right. It's a real bird. Come out of that. Okay, wow. bird. Tell me what that kid. Oh, that was the birthday cake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Kenny. Hey. So, guys, I think that's probably a good set of magic for now. We can get back to dancing. How about some of this? Thank you. Thank you. No. All right. Clay, it's Bert. Get in that. The knife is over there. This is the most amazing cake I have ever seen. Only thing is, the last time I checked, Ahmad wasn't white. Hmm. <laughs> See, I was just trying to go with Terry's whole racial harmony theme. Trying to make the Lakeside kids feel a little bit more comfortable. You know, the world is a rainbow. Thought it'd be a nice gesture. <laughs> you are so busted. What are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, I didn't bake the cake. No. Really? Maybe I can color correct it. You got any chocolate syrup? Yeah. Mm. Oh, good. That'll work. <laughs> How come nobody's dancing? Oh, I'll make an announcement and tell them that it's okay to dance. You can't make an announcement to get people to dance? Check one man out. Look. You want to dance? They say the son becomes a father, and the father becomes the son. Today, my son learned something new about his world, <laughs> and so did his father. Cause in these innocent 